everyone! This week we're going to be talking about the artist Pablo Picasso. Some of you might have heard of him, some of you maybe not. But we're going to learn a little bit about his art and how it changed. So he was a fabulous artist and could draw almost anything from the time he was a little kid. But most people know him for his abstract art. And abstract art is very different because it doesn't focus on making something look real. A lot of times artists look at something and they try to draw it exactly as they see it. And then a lot of times artists sort of take some of their own creative um, twists and put them on them. So Picasso started off in his younger years drawing very realistic. And then as he got older, he started making things more abstract. And abstract art focuses on colors, shapes, things like that, and doesn't really care about things being realistic. So we're going to be drawing some portraits today, and we're going to focus more on making them a little more abstract. As you can see here, these three pictures show the progression of Picasso's art. The first one is a self-portrait that he drew, so we know that's a picture of himself, at 15 years old. So he's older than you, but he's still a child. Then the next self-portrait, again, a picture that he drew of himself, is at age 25 years, so he's a young adult. And the final picture, the third picture there, is a self-portrait that he drew at age 89 years old. So you can see that he started very realistic and slowly got more and more abstract, focusing on shapes and colors and lines. Here are some more of Picasso's abstract portraits. Now that means that they are not pictures of that he has drawn of himself, but of other people. And these are examples of his, of his more abstract work. You can tell by the colors and the shapes. One thing that he focused on a lot um, was having figures that were facing different directions at the same time. So you might notice that the nose is going to the side, but the eyes are looking straight on, um, or the mouth is on the side, but the eyes are straight on. You also notice that the eyes are in different um, heights. They're also, some are larger than the other. There's lots of, action, of colored shapes added on to the faces and the background is thought of as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you three different ways to make an abstract self-portrait, which means it's a picture of you. So the first one, let me find my example. So many papers here. Uh oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the first one. And you might wonder how I got these lines. And I didn't just draw them freehand, and I didn't use a ruler. Um, I figure some of you might not have rulers at home. Some of you might not be at home. You might be at a vacation home or somewhere else. So I'm just going to take a plain piece of paper. It could be printer paper and you're just gonna fold it randomly, however you want. You're not gonna try to make anything, it's not an airplane, it's not any kind of origami. You're just gonna keep folding it until it gets smaller, although this is starting to look a little airplane-like, and smaller, okay? Making sure those folds are really nice and creased. Then when you open it up, you'll have your lines all ready, and you're going to just trace over the lines that are already there. Now, I did have somebody ask me um, if they could draw their portrait and then do the lines and the folding, but it won't really work that way because the whole point is that it's gonna force you to put things where, I wouldn't say where they don't belong, but where you wouldn't normally put them, right? So here's mine after I, draw, I drew the, face, the shape of the face, I had to figure out where to put the eyes. Now I would usually want them to be like right here, but it's a little tricky to figure out how to place them exactly perfect. So I just kind of went with it. You're going to put a different feature in each section. So I put my, I wouldn't usually put the eye way up here on the forehead, but I put one eye here. I put another eye here. The ears, as you can see, are in a box, even though they should be way out here. All right, so you're going to put a different feature in each one. You can add some hair if you want. 
um, take a look, go back and look at those examples and really push yourself to kind of have fun. You could have some, add some different shapes that aren't really there. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is you're going to draw just, let's see, just your head, just the shape of your head. You're gonna add some hair and a neck. So you start, if you remember, we've all done self-portraits before, I believe. If you haven't, then this is a new lesson for you. Um, but I think we've all done them, and usually I have you take your finger and kind of trace first so that you know how big to make it. Okay, so it should be bigger than your hand. So you're gonna draw the oval for your head and add some hair and two lines for the neck so that it will look like this. All right, so here's mine. I'm gonna put it right up here so that I have my hands free for the next part. So you're gonna need another piece of paper and you're gonna need to cut it up into little squares and rectangles. Now, you might not have scissors. So here's another way to get away with not using the tools that you would normally use. Take a piece of paper and you fold it. And you, if you can, use your fingernails, without ripping it, to crease that really nicely. Now, I usually do that about three times, meaning I fold it one way, then I fold it back the other way, using my nails, and fold it back again. And that, if you've done that three times on that same fold, you should be able to pretty neatly tear that. You might need to put, I like to put it down on the table and kind of, yeah. So now I have pretty neat and clean rip. All right, and you're gonna need to fold it, do it again so that you have little squares. And on each of these, you're going to draw a different facial feature. Eye, nose, mouth, ears, things that you could do eyebrows separately if you wanted to. And they should really fill the paper. And the reason is because when you start putting these on here, and actually it's good if you color them before. So once you get this far, start adding color. Color this, color these, and they could be different colors. That might be interesting if you had like a pink background or a blue background here and your face was yellow or green, okay? So then you're just gonna, I'm taping, but you can glue them, all right? I'm kind of putting them a little bit sideways. Okay, now again, this is not looking all that, right? The features are a little bit different sizes. They're a little bit out of place. Just kind of have fun playing, them, playing around with them, but it's going to look abstract that way. I forgot to put a piece of tape on my ear, all right? This is the third, the second way of doing it. And we're gonna have one more way. And this is kind of fun because it becomes like a puzzle. Actually, look, I even have one piece that's kind of going off the page. And that's kind of cool. Um, but I like it. All right, so that's an abstract way of doing self-portraits. And the last one is by drawing it with your eyes closed. And I'll show you how mine came out. I actually kind of like it. I did two of them, so you could see. So. Here's one. As you can see, my neck is way over here and my hair is kind of going through my face, um, which does happen sometimes. Here's another one. All right. And these really force you to be abstract. Now I'm going to do one with you. You holler out if I cheat, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look right at you while I'm doing this. Well, I'm gonna be facing you. I'm gonna close my eyes, okay, because I don't wanna see what I'm doing. My eyelashes, I'm gonna put another eye over here. Hope it's somewhere near where it's supposed to be. And now I need a nose and a mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, some hair. Oh, I think I went off the paper. My hair is usually kind of wavy and curly. I usually wear it up so you can't see. Uh, I probably need some eyebrows somewhere here. And some ears. And maybe a neck down here somewhere. Close? Maybe? Oh boy. You know, not too bad as far as the facial features. They're just not in the face, but I, I 
actually not too bad as far as getting the eyes and the nose and the mouth kind of near each other. Um, it's kind of fun. Try it a few times. And again, um, you can try all of these or just pick your favorite one. And please, please, please add some color to them. That's what makes it really fun. You can use whatever you want. All right. And yeah, I can't believe this is our last week of art. Um, I am so looking forward to hopefully seeing you in person soon. Um, but I hope you stay safe and you're enjoying your time with your family. All right. Love to you all.